The Israeli airstrikes on Gaza have sparked protests around the world. Octavia Nasser, our senior editor for Arab Affairs, is joining me now in the studio for more on the response. We have seen a very quick mobilization of protests around the Arab world. Isn't that true? And I mean, you really, I mean, look at the pictures coming out of the Arab world, and as you say, beyond. I mean, the, hell, the whole world is reacting. But the pictures are pretty impressive. Uh, take a look at these pictures out of Yemen. Uh, this is in Sana'a, Yemen. Uh, people are speaking, they have banners in support of Palestinians in Gaza, but also very angry at their own governments, uh, very critical of their own governments for what they call inactivity or lack of response or delayed response. Also, they're angry at uh, the Arab League. Uh, if we take a look at more uh, protests from around the world, you're going to see people angry, like these demonstrations are outside of the uh, 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 Egyptian embassy in Lebanon, where police have to use, had to use tear gas in order to separate the protesters. People are angry at Egypt, which is, of course, the headquarters of the Arab League, because they say the Arab League said that we'll meet on Wednesday to issue a statement. People are saying this is not enough. Uh, this is a little bit too late. Now, what do people want to see from their leaders? Very good question. I'm not sure they know what they want to see. They just want action. They want, you know, something. They want reaction. Uh, if you look at all these pictures, I mean, you're seeing a lot of students. You're seeing a lot of young people basically taking to the streets saying, help Gaza do something. Now, you have some voices, of course, you know, calling for military action. You know, uh, countries saying Syria, for example, should pull out of these indirect talks with mm -hmm. Israel. Uh, others saying Iran should attack, uh, use its military might basically to, to do something about it. So some people have ideas, but the main anger is about the inactivity. It's about leaders who, to this point, did not issue an official statement other than the condemnation. People are saying, look, we're tired of the condemnation and the finger pointing whose yeah, fault yeah. it is. They want to see something new. Now, what are they seeing? How is the media covering that? And that's a great question, of course. I mean, that's how people are reacting to, to, to what they're seeing on the media. Let's uh, pause for a second and take a look at first maybe uh, Al Jazeera uh, Open. They, they both big networks, Al Jazeera and Arabia, came up with special coverage. Take a look. <laughs> So you see this is uh, horrific images horrific images very graphic we apologize for our viewers of course for showing these images but this is what the Arab world is seeing every hour on the hour these graphic images of basically the events of the last uh, day or so uh, in Gaza uh, both networks and this is only the major networks of course the local networks are covering the story just you know with the same intensity if not more but basically it's all about Gaza under fire Ga Gaza in hell Gaza you, you know in flames uh, and people are responding to these images in in a very interesting way you know we we've covered the Middle East for how long now you don't see people take to the streets in this way and also very important mm -hmm. to talk about you know how they are complaining they are talking to their own government saying you are not doing enough for gaza right now a senior arab affairs editor octavia nasser thank you anytime